So I think I just found the coolest looking USB-C hub or USB-C dock, at least a portable one that you can actually find. It has a built-in screen, it's a six-in-one dock, and I just kind of want to show you guys what it can do because overall there's a lot of noise out there when it comes to USB-C docking stations or portable USB-C hubs, but this one takes the cake with probably the most important things that you would need out of a USB-C dock, and on top of that it's translucent, it looks cool, and it has a screen that adds additional functions. So this is the Dock Case Pro Explorer Edition. Let's get into it. So Dock Case has been around for a while now and they actually had something similar that released last year. Same with the screen, that is their claim to fame. The ability to have a screen that gives you some tangible data of all the different I.O. and all the different inputs that you have and it shows you all the data in real time. Now the Explorer Edition gives you this really cool translucent look so you get to see the motherboard, you get to see exactly all the connectors that are in there and see basically what's happening internally. I mean nothing's moving, there's no moving parts but at least you get to see how they all put it together with all the different transistors and the chipsets and things of that nature, which I'm always a fan of. If you know me, I've been a fan of those translucent MagSafe battery packs and MagSafe pucks in order to actually charge the iPhone. And you can see the coil in there, but I just love that look overall. Now in the box itself, it's very simple. You get the actual hub itself, and then you get a one foot 10 gigabit cable or USB-C cable. So it does have the ability to transfer up to 10 gigabits per second file sizes if you wanna use it for maybe an external SSD as well as something like this. Now this connects to the actual computer via USB-C. So if you have any MacBook, any MacBook Pro, any MacBook Air, any Windows machine now at this point, so pretty much any modern machine will be able to take full advantage of this. Now this does have that Apple aluminum aesthetic and it's very well built, it's made out of that aluminum on the outside. One single screw to open it up if you need to get in there. And then like I mentioned, the glass front of it is where it all takes the cake from a design standpoint. Now what I like about this is that it has a lot of function on top of what it's actually meant to do. Because again, most hubs, they do what they need to do. They're an extra connector or a dongle to make sure you get ethernet, HDMI, maybe more USB-C ports, USB-A ports, sometimes even some SD and micro SD card slots. But this one gives you a screen on here and that glass itself also lets you know around the corners what each plug is for. So this is a six in one. So you do have your host USB-C. So you plug in the USB-C to the MacBook Air, which is what I'm using for instance as a show around. Then on one side you have a PD pass-through port which charges up to 100 watts. So if you have a 100 watt power brick, you can easily plug it in. And what I like about it is that it tells you how much power the computer or how much power even an iPad, because this will work with an iPad Pro, is pulling at one time. So for the most part, the M2 MacBook Air maxes out at 45 watts. So if you have a power brick that has 60 watts or 70 watts, the MacBook Air should not be taking in more than 45 watts, and you can see on the B-roll that that's the case. So this is also great for a measurement to see how much wattage each device is taking. So another thing to do if you really want to is plug this into a USB-C outlet, and then also plug in maybe a lightning to USB-C connector to see maybe how much power your iPhone is taking. So I love being able to see those measurements. You know, the geek inside of me always perks up because I'm able to now read all that data. Then you also have a full HDMI port, another smart USB-A port which transfers up to five gigs of speed. You have an ethernet port in here, which is kind of rare for these USB-C hubs nowadays, but if you wanna hardwire in your MacBook, you can do so with up to one gig of transfer speeds or one gigabyte ethernet connection. Then on the other side, you do have another USB-C connector, but it's for data pass-through. So if you do wanna do another, let's say you have another external SSD, like I have a Samsung T7 that I use to kind of offload a lot of my footage, and I just plug it right in there and it works perfectly fine. And you can also see how fast your data is transferring from the screen alone. And then lastly, you do have one more USB-A port that does transfer up to five gigabytes of speed. So overall, you have three data ports, you have your HDMI port, your PD port, your pass-through port, and an ethernet cable. So it is missing a micro SD card slot. So if you're looking for one that does have a micro SD card slot, I'll leave some link down in the description below. But overall, this thing is extremely powerful. It looks good, it looks sleek, and so far it's been working great. It doesn't get hot to the touch, which is one of my biggest worries when using these USB-C dongles because they are made out of aluminum. They're trying to follow the Apple aesthetic and after a while, especially if you don't look at it, you touch it and it's very hot to the touch. This has remained very cool. Even with the screen turned on, I've had zero issues. Transfer speeds are as high as they are aimed to be. Power pass-through does get up to that 100 watts. And at the end of the day, it's just a very aesthetically looking USB-C dock or USB-C dongle that you can take with you in a portable manner. And overall, it is a great conversation starter as well. So if you guys do want to check it out, I think the Kickstarter is going on right now. And I know Kickstarters sometimes are a little bit iffy, but 
Doc Case has had a great track record in releasing a lot of Kickstarters in the past, and this one does end in, I think, a day or two. So if you guys want to jump on it and get the early bird special, because I do believe this one goes for about $89 or $99 for the early bird special before it goes to the retail pricing. But that is going to do for this video, everybody. Leave a comment down below if you guys use USB-C docks, if that's something that you use in your current workflow. Now that we're all USB-C, all things, I always like to have one ready to go just in case I need one. This does come in handy a lot of the time, and I've been using it pretty much as my main dock overall, which I absolutely love. But if you did make it to the end, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below so I know that you made it to the end. And if you guys want to check out the dock case or any other iPhone, iPad, or Mac accessories, click on one of these videos right here. And until next time, everybody, I'm Fernando, and I'm out of here. Peace.